Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here. Welcome back to more Ocarina of Time. Last time we went down a spooky well and got a lens of truth. And now we're gonna get a piece of heart that has been eluding us for some time before we go off to more spooky times. You like more spooky times, right? Anyway, I've talked about this game many times. It was just a surprise. If you find a key inside, you'll be able to advance left or right. Do you try your luck? Ten reap supply. Do you wanna try it? So you pay 10 rupees, you, you buy a door key. And use that to move on to the next room. Now if you want to, you can play full odds. 50-50 coin flip every single room. Or you can be smart. This is why you want the lens of truth. Again, we have the money where we have the money now where doing it the intended way, the doing it the proper way, isn't that far out of the question. But, it's, uh, like I said, it's a 50-50 coin flip every time. I think there's 10 rooms, so 50, 25, 12, 7, 3, 1, point 0.5. I gotta redo that. 50, 25, 12, 7, 3, 1, point 0.5, point 0.25. Point twelve, point zero seven. So if you play at full odds, you have a point zero seven percent chance to walk out of this with the piece of heart. I hope I did that right. Anyway, as you go through these rooms, you may notice the other chest opening as we're doing this. Basically, if you fail it, you get a you get X amount of money as a reward, and what amount of what amount of money you get will be indicated by the walls of this room. So basically, if you fail in this like forward, you get twenty rupees. In those in those last two rooms, you got five rupees. It's only five rooms. Fifty, twenty-five, twelve, seven, three. Okay, so it's a three percent chance. It's not the worst luck, I guess. I thought it was ten rooms. So you can brute force it if you feel like running a 3% chance of victory. I guess it's closer to 3.7 or 3.5% chance. But there you go. Piece of heart. That is... Well, that is the... Uh, this is actually the... Th uh, we only have three more pieces of heart left in the game. Which is kind of funny. That, that is... Because I remember as a kid, I've got, I got... I remember as a kid, I got that piece of heart super early. Like, I went out to Hyrule Field, grinded up the rupees, came back here, played the game, and I went full odds. Oh, we don't need to leave. We need to go to the Temple of Time. I went full odds on that game as a kid, and I won. I don't remember how many hours I spent on it, but I won. Net might lead to the fact that I have a problem with playing gacha games in current day. Huh. Awkward. Anyway. That's actually everything we need to do as a kid for a while. Uh, I will make note that the guide I'm using does tell you now when you have the when you have the uh, uh, as soon as you had the Song of Storms you could have gotten and gone off and gotten the frog song handled. Or the frogs bit handled. So if you haven't done that yet, head off and take care of that quick. Because I think for quite some time we will be stuck in adult world. I like how I call this adult world, by the way. Anyway. I remembered how to play it. With, this, with that being done, we're heading off to the Shadow Temple. Now you're going to want... For this temple, you're going to... For majority of your items, you're going to want the bow and arrow, hook shot, the lens of truth, but but before even all that, even before all that, the first thing you're going to want to make your life easier is Din's Fire. Now with the bow, with the bow you can't, you can see on the secondary screen here, you can choose to use regular arrows or fire arrows. You can use fire arrows in this area down here, but you'll be using a lot of magic. And a lot of ammunition. So, just use, if you're use a lot of magic, just use a lot anyway. And get it all in one fell swoop. Welcome to the Shadow Temple, ladies and gentlemen. 
if, the, if underneath the well left you a little unnerved, this place is going to continue that super hard. Anyway, I'm going to put this... I'm putting this on the... Uh, on our quick button because we're gonna need to use it quite a bit but yeah make this is to make sure you actually to actually well no actually that isn't it the shadow will yield only to one with the eye of truth handed down in Cockrika village okay yeah so there is a hookshot check but there's also various other checks now before you even mess around with this puzzle here which by the way I find the true skull amongst amongst these but we'll come back to that in just a minute First thing we need to do is actually head off in this in this direction to find a to find the dungeon item. I th oddly enough, it, yeah, we're already looking at dungeon items. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see through what is hidden in the darkness. Now we want to look around. There are several paths we can go down, and most of them are marked off by these glowing skulls as. Places we can divert on. Uh, yes, 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 I get it. We want to go down these various paths because there are. Okay, return. There are various things we need to do here. Sorry, I I I had to prep myself up for the redeads, man. We do want to head down all these split paths that we're going to be seeing here. Actually, with this version of the game, you might be able to just cheese it by looking at the map alone. I just thought of this. But yeah, we want to head down every section of this of this place. Or every split path here, because there will be secret chests in here everywhere. Uh, secret goodies, secret enemies. Just make sure you are using the Eye of Truth and also using the map to go down each and every path. Yes, yes, yes. The same as before. What's in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. <laughs> I can see the way forward just fine, my friends. Looks like there's only one exit here, but I'm still gonna poke my nose around. Tricks of ill will. I'm gonna poke my- I gotta- Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for telling me the same message. I'm poking my nose around because I don't learn. Ah! Hey, remember uh, Dead Hand? Hey, wanna know how you could find Dead Hand? It's simple. Uh, pull out your handy dandy bombs. Also, something I should mention here is while the Lens of Truth is active, you cannot... While Lens of Truth is active, you cannot use anything that requires magic. Come closer. Let me see that beautiful face! Okay. Ah, dang it. Let go of me. Let go of me. I'm running away. But yeah, while the Lens of Truth is active, you can't use anything else that requires magic. So, your Fire Arrows, Din's Fire, Ferrari's Wind, none of that stuff. Who do you think you're fooling? Where are you? Who do you think you're fooling? Here. Come out. Anyway, the easy way to fight Dead Hand is to use the Lens of Truth to see its, its burrowing spot, and then just scare it out with bombs. And they just, you know, OTK it with the, with the Big Round Sword. I feel like I'm cheating the game a little bit by using the bigger on sword, but hey, if they did want me to use it, they uh, wouldn't have made the, the side quest completable by this point in the game. Now I think down here, I think this is the item we're after. Which hey, hover boots! For some reason, the hover boots don't get as much of a bad rap as the iron boots do, even though they are literally they were literally the same thing as they were in the S64 version of. Hey, go into your gear grid. Put on the put on the hover boots. Go out, go into your gear grid again. Take out the hover boots. Did you do it right? Cool. So, at this point, with the hover boots acquired, well, I'll kind of show you how they work in a second here. Because we're gonna need them for this area coming out here. But yeah, you do need to come down here and do this. And as like I said, that. The Lens of Truth and the Hover Boots count as a duo. Uh, which one is it? Okay, it's this one. The Hover Boots and the Lens of Truth count as the... Uh, trying to think of what the word is. Wait for it. Count as your dungeon item for the Shadow Temple. Anyway. So, the Skull of Truth. Well, I've already... I haven't 
to, I forgot to turn on the lines of truth. If you, I'll just let you know if you point this guy, this guy at the wrong skull, which we can let go now because it's this one over here. If you point this guy at the wrong skull, this pit will open. It'll open a pit underneath you and just plummet you to death. Again, the one true king. I think that changes now. Hover boots, how they work? You have Luigi physics, but you also get about half a second to a second of of uh, flight time. Now I will say in the N64 version, if you are playing the N64 version, just leave the hover boots on. They don't. They aren't a detriment to how you'll play this. Well, that worked. Anyway, that's a mega fairy spot. Now I'm looking around because one of these is bombable, two of them are openable. Nice. Just call that a whiff. Right, I believe we need a key. Yeah, we need a key to go forward. So we have to go off in these side rooms to find the key. And I think the other one's a compass. If I recall. Anyway, gonna use this. Okay, we're good. Now this room is especially fun if you're using the... Uh, Oh boy. This room is especially fun if you're using the iron boots because you kind of can slide underneath stuff. But we do want to do this because it will activate a treasure. Uh, this will activate a treasure for us. And it will... Oh yeah. It will activate a treasure. But it will also activate a... Yeah, it's gonna... There we go. It activates a treasure. But we want to... There's something else I want to say. I lost my wording. Anyway, put this on. Okay, not here. There is an area around here where we need to... There is an area we do need to go through here. But we got the small key in question. But there is another room here. Ah, wait, this area. Well, hey, what's that say, Navi? This wall says it's saying something. If you want to see a fairy, you would come here. Oh boy, I'd love to come here. Hey, why'd that activate? Hey look, a fairy to the other underworld. Anyway, I hear a gold skull chiller, but yeah. Just a fairy to the underworld, right there. Which we'll be getting to at That is so much better looking. Which we'll be getting to at some point. Anyway, let's make our way back now. Now here's... Now a cool thing I remember that I... Guess I want to share at this point is... Uh, back when we activated the cutscene to be like, Hey, here's, here's our next step. We need to go to the bottom of the well. Uh, for that cutscene... I remember the N64 version of it, that the shadow, the quote-unquote shadow, looked like TV static. Anyway, we're just going to head out of here, because I think we're done in here. The shadow looked like TV static, which also made me think it was just a bunch of bugs. Also, this guy respawned. Yes. Goodbye. More bombs? Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, what do you have... Okay. Listen. I am masterful at no things, but this is one of those things I can be masterful at is just a pr just knowing when I when my time to strike is at hand. Anyway, uh anything additional in here? I think it's just the compass. So we have the map and the compass for the Shadow Temple already. We have the map, we have the compass, and we have the dungeon item. Which would make you think, wow, there's really not a lot to this temple. There, this temple is pretty long, actually. Hold on, before we go any further. Okay, you know what? Go away. Nobody likes you, you bother me. But yeah, even though we have acquired basically all three of the major items for a temple, this is still gonna suck. Because it is a long trek downwards. Please, no. Actually, we don't need this here. Just mind your step here, because there will be... There will be big Skulltullas hiding in the ceiling that are going to come down and thwart you. But I'm also going to tell you, be careful of... Dang it. I'm also going to tell you, be very careful... Of an area coming up at the bottom of the slope. Because Yep, there it is. Especially if you're going to use the hover boots, because... These... No, nah, we're not done here. Hold on. Thank you. 
Because if you get cut by one of these guillotines, it sends you all the way back. I'm slow. Ah, more wall masters. If you get cut by one of these kill guillotines, it's gonna send you back to the start of this place. So it's all timing here, baby. Now, if you had your hover boots on, you could uh, bypass this a little bit. Anyway, hey, look, it's a stealthos. It's a stealthos that will kind of follow you around. Now, before you head over there, lens of truth and boot up. Or I guess at the very least, lens of truth, because you need to be able to see to get across this area. There is going to be a couple doors and rooms you do have to go in around. There's a couple rooms you have to go in around here just to get some additional stuff. By the way, you can't see the guy normally. You also can't see the like like that's in this room without this. Or maybe you can. Anyway, I'm going to hold on to the arrows for now. I know I said that starting out in this room, you need you want to have arrows nearby. Just to... Can I think? Oh, there you are. Have fun with that, buddy. Blow up. Merry Christmas. Oh, wait. You don't eat those. But yeah, we do need to kill all the enemies in this room. Oh, time block. Don't worry about it. We do have to kill every enemy in this room because it does open the door. And all those bats are invisible in here. Yeah, if you need more hearts, just uh, play the Song of Time. Although I believe there's a target on the wall. Oh, there's no target on the wall. Never mind. Anyway, I'm just going to take my chances. Now, once again, in the N64 version of this game... Uh, once again, in the N64 version of this game, there were there is an effect here that kind of ruins this. Is Because right now, you can't see the spinning green reapers in the center. In the N64 version, you can still see the particle trail left behind by their spinning size. Anyway. Oh boy, a blue rupee, my favorite. Hey, what's in this one? Yeah. Well, it's still nothing major, but yeah. Anyway, we kind of dealt with this mechanic before. I should mention this, even though it's the last time I see it. You just shield the duck underneath it. It's just like the ice blade from the ice from the uh, ice dungeon. Now, what was the point of that? Gold skull shell. That was it. Do we have to do that? No. Are we gonna do it anyway? Yes. Why? Completion. Hi. How's it going, bro? Uh, you know, you only have yourself to blame for that, my friend. Oh, hey, more arrows. Anyway, I want to make a running leap for this guy. Good catch, Link. Because we need to head... Whoa. Okay, hey, that's not going to work. Thankfully, because we went to another door, we just pop out here. Also, very strange that Link just kind of put put on his shoes in midair. Anyway. Uh, we're going to let that happen before we catch another ride here but no just like this entire place man this entire place is just a problem and and, a, and an issue to deal with there we go let's take those off throw a bomb in the middle I don't think I hit my target no I did but anyway we need to get the five silver rupees in this area to get to have uh that door open, which should lead us to a key. Also, you know, we have map and compass. We kind of know where we're going in this temple. Again, this temple is so straightforward because of this, but also it's not because just because of the fact that it's also not straightforward simply because of the fact that there are so many. What do I want to say? Anyway, uh, something in here? No, not here. I guess it's. It's, there's a gold skull shell somewhere in this area. I'm sorry, I, I can hear it, so it's driving me a little bonkers. But anyway, we do want to push this brick down to the point where it catches both of these slamming guillotines, which we're not there yet. I think it's here? Yes. And leave that be. Uh, let's see, and I think... It's in, the gold skeletella is in this area? Yes, it is. Not even, uh, not even hiding that well. Just, it's in there. 
I'm jumping. Okay, I can't jump at it. Fair enough. I'll just grab it from point blank range with my long shot. Link broke his back. Anyway, chest here for more arrows. I would say it'd be time to break out the arrows, but not quite yet. But yeah, you want to, like I said, you want to push this block till it catches both of these slamming guillotine things. And then you want to pull it the rest of the way backwards. And we're going to be using these things in a minute. Good, it stays put. Climb. We're going to be using these just to get across here in a second. Uh, first things first. Okay, we don't have to jump inside of there. We can just walk in here. Come in here to get uh, low, low B prize. Poo poo prize as, as, it were, as if it were. And then push this. To have, cause treasure chest to spawn. Which, you can either ride the, uh, the guillotine to get over. Or use your hookshot to get over to it. And that's what we came in here for, is this small key. Because it's going to open the door. It's going to open a door to the rest of this area. And actually, I think with that, we are good to call out here. So, next time... Oh. Smart. Next time, on Ocarina of Time, we are going to go ahead and head off to that area. Ooh, more bombs. Nice. We're going to go off to this area we haven't explored quite yet with that guillotine over there to proceed forward. I'll see you folks then. Take care.